Hello everyone, this is Keybox. In this video, I will show you the newest Mage Contemptor build that I was working on for quite some time, and I can really say that this is one of the builds that most of the people on the YouTube, like YouTubers that plays Elder Scrolls Online and make content, keeps kinda hidden from you all, and uh, they say it, but they don't go into the details, etc, etc. So, uh, this build evolves for around uh, the crit chance and the crit damage kind of stuff. And there is, of course, another setups, the, another ways that you can actually go and achieve kind of same thing. And as you can see on the screen that this is... The, even though it is still not complete the buff, I'm still missing some light attacks and stuff. But this is the result after watching this video. This is the stats that you are going to get. As well as you can watch the showcase video as well of this setup. How it performs in some different scenarios. Uh, in the description down below and on the top right corner of the screen through the YouTube cards as well. So if you are ready, let's just go into the video and click subscribe. It will help me a lot to uh, do more content in the future like this. I do actually in fact kind of want to call this build a, like a secret YouTuber build. So. Uh, this is the first thing that we will go into the character stats to show you the unbuffed stats. As you can see, 29.6k health, 23k max magic, 1000 magic recovery, 4.3k spell damage, 60.9% spell crit with 7274 spell penetration and resistances as well. So we have 64 into health, I will come into it. And uh, we have the Thief Manda Stone. And we are using the clockwork foot to get max health, health recovery, max magic, magic recovery. As well as we are uh, using the high elf on this build. So this is the most powerful one that you can get for that setup. And we are not vampire, we are not werewolf, nothing like this. And those are the character stats. And the foot uh, you can see is here, clockwork. And the potion, we have a spell damage, spell crit, max magic, and a magic recovery, just straight spell damage potion we have. About the item sets. So, since I mentioned the 64 into health, the reason that is we are using the Tracing Stranglers mythic item, and it is gonna reduce your health by 6000 when you reach 50 stacks so for that reason we need to increase our health of course you can just straight use max out max magic of food as well like blue food but the clockwork is just so good to give you sustain as well and uh, max magica too and uh, i don't wanted to put the health glyph on any of my armor because that way you are kind of losing too much damage because just with one glyph you are getting like 867 maximum magicka this is crazy like so think like that and from the tracing you get um around 1000 plus weapon and spell damage so for that reason we would like to keep the tracing on the setup so um that is works like you need to do the final hit Otherwise, tracing not gonna work, and if you travel or if you crouch as well, it is gonna uh, remove the stacks as well, or if you go invisible, so just don't do it. So we have the tracing enhanced light in the vines with maximum magic glyph. This is the first thing of the setup. And the front bar, we have two diggers, one learn, one charged. I tried all the traits, trust me, I golded out the diggers and stuff, I tried all of them. But seems like the most beneficial one is one learn, one charged. 
but you can go also too precise with uh, the weapons too it is not gonna um, nerf you too much but it is better like at some cases where some other sets like acuity is on the cooldown because it has 25 seconds cooldown if it's run out so we have two order threats it is crafted set two dagger one flame one poison charged is on the poison and a Nern is on the flame and what order rat does gives you crit chance weapon spell damage crit chance and then crit chance again and then it increases your crit damage and crit healing by eight person this is very good to have it is very powerful and of course there's some alternates that you may argue with me and even i may argue with, with myself about the uh, order threat but this is just solid setup and easy to get as well there's alternates like suzan you know that kind of stuff there's another alternates that you can actually replace order threat with suzan so there you go this is the flex spot you can either go with order threat or the suzan so two daggers and uh, three jewels all of them is blood thursday with spell damage glyph on them and uh, that's the order threat setup on our back bar we need to run unfortunately we must run vma perfected inferno stuff infused with berserking glyph it gives you penetration and then it increases your wall of element blockade damage 1250 by 1250 so this is good as well and this is aoe damage just cleave everything blah blah and since this setup is made for pve uh solo or dungeon content like you need something like that anyways we have one piece slime crawl light armor helmet with the wines and max magica to get the most crit chance out of it we have the chest shoulder waist leg and the shoes all of them divines as you can see all of them is light armor i'm running seven light and because there is no other way that you would reach the penetration cap even with the tank blah blah you need at least six thousand because um like the tank can give you the most 10,000 with all the debuffs that he can supply and it is not always up on everything like if there is 10 ads that you need to kill basically the tank can use the pierce armor the taunt ability and he can just drop the resistances of one or two or three enemies he cannot taunt all of them you know so you need basically more penetration in that case it is not a trial that you are playing it is dungeon so you need more penetration to keep the uptime on the enemies just ignore the resistances so for that reason we need to run seven lights to get uh, 7274 sp spell penetration and physical penetration so that's the reason why we are rocking with seven light armor so acuity gives you stamina magicka and then weapon and spell damage and on the fifth one when you deal non-crit damage you gain a stack of mechanical acuity for four seconds gives you 20 percent crit strike chance per stack and this is as an addition like um if you have 50 percent chance and you do no crit damage on the enemy you get extra 20 it is additional crit chance it is not calculating your crit chance and giving you 20 percent of it so if you have 50 and if you do no crit damage you're gonna get up to 70 and then 90 according to this math and you can get stack of every one second and it can stack up to five times which gives you 100 crit chance and if you reach to the max stacks 
or if the effect ends after you stack up because after four seconds basically um, this will not proc for 25 seconds again so there's kind of a way that you can control the mechanical acuity procs you can do a couple of damage and then you go to the back bar put your dots and then come front and then still control if you put the acuity on the weapons like not the armor we have it on the armor here so you can't exactly control it but there's ways that you can control as long as you just uh, do the weapon for the acuity just do one acuity weapon and then one or the threat body and you can literally control when to proc the acuity so I don't worry about it too much you don't exactly need to control and just straight do the damage all the time it just procs all the time from everything on the back bar or the front bar it doesn't matter so you get the most uptime on the mechanical acuity you don't exactly need to control so for that reason I have it the five piece on the body to have the uptime the whole time so this is it that's the armor seven lights all of them divines all of them max magic and one mythic tracing slime crow helmet and uh, three jewels of order's red blood towards the spell damage front bar double dagger to get more crits one non flame one charged poison on the back bar one infused weapon and spell damage uh, with uh, vma perfected inferno stuff and that's it so we will go into the skill points now uh the skills i'm sorry front bar obviously radiant operation to execute it deals up to 500 percent more damage to enemies below 50 percent health this is just got buffed this is amazing we have camo hunter we get a weapon and spell crit while you put it on the bar and then you get minor berserk for five seconds after dealing crit damage from an enemy's flying so it's really in synchronization with mechanical acuity and this is just crazy the third skill is a mystic orb you deal 1.1k flame uh, magic damage every one second to nearby enemies with the duration of 10 seconds and while the orb is active you get 100 health magic and some recovery this is gonna help your sustain this is gonna help with your sustain and also the nearby ally can use the synergy deals 7k magic damage to nearby enemies and restore 4000 magic and stamina to the ally whichever maximum is higher if they scale up if if their build is scaled up with magicka they're gonna get magicka or if they are stamina build they are gonna get stamina from using the synergy and also they will deal the damage the damage scales off with their um, weapon or spell damage as well so this is very good to use the mystic orb we have power of the light to reduce the resistances of the enemy you can only have one at a time it does physical damage and uh, it's as i said it gives minor breach for 10 seconds uh, reducing the enemy's armor by 3k and then uh, after the duration ends it will deal 4.3k physical damage to the enemy which increases based on the amount of damage you dealt to them over six seconds over the duration up to 200 percent so this is very good and powerful and you can only have one at a time this is nerfed recently so it will help to uh, reduce the enemy armor of the uh, P, uh, enemies in a uh, dungeon where the tank cannot exactly give minor breach to you also if you go into dance red passives and you can see here illuminate when you use power of the light or down any dance red ability you gonna get and give to the people minor sorcery for 20 seconds increasing their and uh, your spell damage by 10 percent this is also something that you just cannot ignore and you need to use it 
Punching sweep is our spam ball. It deals 3k magic damage to the closest enemy and then 1.5k magic damage to all other enemies. And it is gonna just uh, proc your mechanical acuity so fast that you will actually surprise. This is just crazy. And you heal yourself with this one too. And then you reduce the enemy speed by 40% for half second as well. And our ultimate on the front bar is the flawless stunbreaker from Fighter Skill. You get weapon spell damage if you use it by 300 for 20 seconds, and you also get it uh, from the passives in where is it? In here as well. You get six percent. Uh, weapon and spell damage because we have Camo Hunter and Flawless Stunbreaker from the fighter skills. So this is the ulti. And on our back bar we have Flame Pulsar. It deals 5000 flame damage to nearby enemies. Looks like that. And uh, it's from Destro ulti. Uh, Destro skill line, I'm sorry. It afflict them with minor mangle, reducing their max health by 10% for 7 seconds of the normal ads. Like, it is not gonna work on the main boss or the bosses, okay? It is gonna work every kind of ad, the small ads, but it is not gonna work on the bosses. And when you use it, you're gonna basically gonna proc the burning effect because it is flame stuff as well. And burning enemies are also hit by Pulsar after burn, which deals 700 flame damage. And Pulsar after burn deals up to 300 more damage to enemies with less than 50% health. This is just straight nuking strategy for the ads. You just straight nuke them. Of course, you need two other people that runs flame Pulsar on the ads. So. What you do is basically the tank chains all the ads and then 3DD just gonna spam flame pulsar, just spam, 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 and they as they get lower health and they are just gonna melt straight. It is like ready into oppression, just AoE version of it. We have unstable wall of fire. It deals 1k-ish 900 flame damage to enemies in target area for one, one second. Burning enemies take 10% more damage from this ability. So it is really related with flame pulsar as well. Both of them relates with each other. You just put the pulsar, put the burning status effect on them and uh, nerf them by uh, max out with, with the max out by using the minor mangle, putting them as well and then unstable all of fire just gonna do 10 percent more damage and uh, when the effect ends it is gonna explode basically and deals more flame damage to the enemy and we have channeled acceleration it is gonna give you a major expedition for 12 seconds which is movement speed by 30 percent this is good and you get minor force for one minute um that is gonna give you crit damage by 10 person so uh this is very good like i don't want to run a barb trap in that setup because it can be annoying at some point so the damage that you are losing by not putting out the barb trap you getting it from the mystic orb you getting it from the pulsar you get it from the blockade you get from blazing spear blah blah so it's not a nerf, it is actually a buff and it helps you with the speed and with the crit damage that has a duration of one minute is crazy. So you need channeled acceleration for that setup. And extended ritual. So one thing that I should mention in my group that we are three Templar DD and one dragon knight tank so three of us runs extended ritual gives 2.3k health every two seconds for 30 seconds and uh when it crits, crits you see 4.5k healing is just 
crazy like every two seconds 4.5k healing and imagine you have three of it so you kind of have 15k um, healing every two seconds so it is like 7.5k every second you can think of it like this this is just crazy it cleans uh, the bad negative effects up to five of them or clears all the damage over time zone you blah blah and this is just mad skill when you organize with your group and the people is can also use your synergy as well and it will uh, clear all the harmful effects all the damage over times it is better than using it on yourself actually using the skill it is better to use the synergy as well so don't say like don't worry um don't think about like okay i'm just putting the exant ritual and then i'm good to go no it clears five negative effects so if you have 10 negative effect on yourself either you're gonna just do it twice which is not uh advised by me because it costs 4000 magicka damage uh magicka you just use the other people's synergy and you clear all the things and you heal yourself as well by 5.5k crazy and we have the best AoE skill in the game blazing spear 6.6k magic damage to the enemies and an additional 5 547 magic damage every one second for 10 seconds and the people can get the shards restoring 4000 magic or stamina it is like working like literally uh the mystic orb right here is the same buff the resource sustain buff and on our back bar we have fury rage ulti we are gonna use that when we are gonna use the ultimate so this is the only ultimate that you are allowed to use unless the boss has 15 percent health and you don't have ultimate but you have enough to use the downbreaker then just straight use the downbreaker of course like otherwise the go-to ultimate is the destruction stuff ultimate fury rage it just deals crazy amount of damage you just gonna melt everything it is aoe it stands where you put this on blah blah the next stop is the champion points which I will go into it right now and the green one you can do whatever you like i have meticulous disassembly master gatherer plant of forest and then look at efficiency to save a little bit gold because why not on the blue one we have wrathful strikes to get 205 weapon and spell damage this is flex the first thing i should mention this is flex the second one is the deadly aim increase your single target attacks by six percent the third one is tarmaturge increase your damage over time effects by six percent as well and if we go into here we have the exploiter increase your damage done against off balance enemies by ten percent so this is also flex in here you can also remove exploiter like wrathful strikes if you remove exploiter you should run fighting finesse so let's just do it that way like if you have no one to um use the lightning staff on your group you don't need to run the exploiter like literally and you put the fighting finesse here and you can pull remove the wrathful strikes as well and you put the backstabber here just commit the cp changes and that way is the most beneficial according to the setup that i just say three templar all of them the same exact same this setup all of them literally and one dragon knight tank so in that case you need to run backstabber 10 10 percent crit damage while you are flanking 8% crit damage and healing straight like order threat 
and a deadly aim 6% damage done by single target attacks and damage over time have attacks by 6% damage done as well so this is the best optimal blue cp that you are seeing right now <coughs> sorry otherwise you can run exploiter if someone putting the enemies off balance all the time otherwise backstabber fighting finesse deadly aim and tarmaturge is the best champion points on the blue mage, mage tree that you can use with that being said we go into the red one we have bantus vitality 1.4k maximum health because you need it when you have Thracian stranglers up um, you do have um, the 6k health debuff on yourself so if you don't use that one you are gonna get 22k ish health 22.3k if i'm not wrong but if you use that bounce vitality you're gonna have 23.7k health which is perfect for every hard mode trifecta dungeons black rose unchained blah blah so you need Mountus Vitality in that setup. That's the first thing that you must use. The second one is the Siphonic Spells. It is gonna give you 1.5k Magicka when you kill an enemy. So it is working like False God, but you don't need False God in that setup. Um, this is uh, like asks you to do the final hit. Otherwise you are not gonna get the Magicka from the kills, but definitely you are gonna get the kill okay you're gonna get the kill you're gonna proc the Tresian, you're gonna get the siphoning spell sustain from it and because the reason that is even if we pop up the portion like right now we have 1.3k magic recovery and 23k maximum magic this is low this is low but uh siphoning spells negates that thing um it is just giving you crazy amount of sustain you can't believe like it is really perfect okay you never run out magicka even with 1.3k max uh 1.3k magicka recovery and 23k max magicka you you never gonna run out magic with the siphoning spells even you are on the boss stage or something like that you're still not gonna run out the build just works perfect anyways and you're gonna get the orbs from other people blah blah even you don't get the orbs it is just gonna work fine just gonna be fine because we have hidden uh recovery in here when you have negative effect on yourself you're gonna get 150 health magic and stem recovery already so we reach 1.5k actually and in here wind chaser if we go down, it is celerity, you're gonna get 10% movement speed combined with channeled acceleration plus 30% uh, that is coming from the channeled acceleration. You are just flash Barry Allen with this uh, setup. So this is very good. This is speedy Gonzalez kind of thing and imagine you are just running fast the whole time in the dungeon. So this is perfect. Those are the champion points. There is no alternate that you can run in here. Sustained by suffering, Pantus Vitality here. Um, siphoning spells and celerity. You need those four of them basically and on the blue one as i said fighting finesse backstabber deadly aim and tarmatush so those are the champion points um about the rotation like the last time people actually asked me to do and uh, show the rotation etc etc so there is not exactly a rotation for it because this is a uh, situational like you just uh, use the skills according to the situation where you need to do the AOE if there's an ad you just uh, drop all the AOEs just spam pulsar pulsar just put the orb for example and then they just spam pulsar 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 or even put the ultimate as well and then uh, when there is a single target you just 
put the blockade blazing like those exanded ritual stuff blah blah put the orb power of the light and i'm just gonna spam the punching sweep and then when you have ultimate just drop the ultimate either the strolty or uh thumbbreaker and then just read into operation the guy and that's how it is like there's no exactly a rotation. If there's too many people, you just go back bar, spam the pulsar all the way until they die. Otherwise, you just keep the blockade, blazing spear, of course, the channeled acceleration, extended ritual, orb, power of the light, and then just spam the puncturing sweep. And as they, as the skills run out on the back bar, you just gonna apply them and then just put this again and now put power of the light blah blah and ulti and when they are in the execute just uh, ready into operation down like that's actually how it works but there is a but because I am actually going to record a showcase video as I always do in my channel and drop the link down below as I said and uh, you can see how the build performs actually in the solo and the dungeon content and you can kind of see how I'm uh, doing the rotation how I'm acting to the situation with my commentary too so I hope you like that and give a go for the showcase video as well you you should watch the showcase video to see how the build performs and how powerful it is with the proper team setup and uh, yeah that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed this video comment below what you think about it any suggestion are welcome and fix me if I'm wrong at some point or give me any advice suggestion that kind of stuff just give me I'm reading all the comments and join our discord as well we have a very huge family in there and join the channel as a member to get all the benefits from the perks too so subscribe guys see you guys on the next video until next time